Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just, just wait. Live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show 583 Tuesdays that we've been talking about professional wrestling. Um, from the basement to Broadway here, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. And uh, with me, we got our crew. We got, first of all, in Poughkeepsie, New York. It is Mad Mike. I am here. I have seen such minimal wrestling in the past two days. I saw a half of Raw and none of SmackDown. Wait, why did you want to be on this show again? <laughs> because I, well, I read about Raw, so I'm, I'm informed on Raw, but I have no idea what went on on SmackDown, and I'm excited because I'm going to one of the events this weekend. Fantastic. Sorry. And of course, yes, yes, producer Missy. He wants to play Two Truths and a Lie. That's, that's what we here. want to do, and we are going to start that off here in a minute. Given the looks over there, just the disapproving looks is Chad the Shad. Second billing. What is this? What? To the late guy. To the late. (laughs) Shaking our heads over here. Uh I'm with them. Also with us is Mutilator Larry back on the show after all these weeks. Yeah. Thanks. What? what, No, no, no. You guys are great. You guys are great. Hmm. You guys are super. Stop by. Hmm. You guys, you guys, Hmm. you guys. Let's move to the next segment. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. This is the Wrestling Mayhem show. What did I do to this place? You didn't we're do anything, starting th- Mike. You're nope. you're very, yeah. we're, you're we're we're okay with you. It's okay, this, this okay. guy over here. Is I was gonna say the guy we who's are doing not the booking much later than we normally do. <laughs> yeah, the guy who's doing the booking over here. He's he's uh oh. he's playing favorites. Okay, well, yeah, um, wait for an owl to swoop in. <laughs> yeah, right through the window, right through the window, right here. I feel like, um, I feel like meat. You through the window. guys. Can, <laughs> no, you guys can check out the show, uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Check out this and all the other things like Indie Mayhem Show, like the Midweek War, the Raw Wrap Up, and whatever else may come. Sometimes some bracketology we do from time to time. Uh, you can also join us here, Live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on the Facebook Live every Tuesday night at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, keep an eye on the events for any time we're doing some Indie Mayhem Show interviews. Um, we were scheduled to have Magnum CK on the show this week, but uh, some uh, uh, scheduling conflicts came up at the last minute, and he's actually been rescheduled to do the interview for Indie Mayhem Show Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to join us there, just uh, follow the uh, event if you have not yet for updates and any changes that may happen to any of those um, upcoming interviews. And, of course, we got a lot of great ones scheduled over the next uh, month and a half, I think, still. Uh, you can drop us a line at that email address. Good time! No, 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 nobody else. No, no. I, we were, wow. we've been rejected. It's just, wow. that's where we're at. Uh, good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. Twitter at mayhem show, wrestling mayhem show, Facebook and Facebook group. And of course you can subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio and video versions on the uh, YouTube and Facebook for wrestling mayhem show. And thank you to our streaming partner, the 405 media for carrying us over there. And of course, carrying us at 9 PM Pacific time, uh, nightly over there if you want to catch up with the mayhem uh, on their stream and thank you to our patreon supporters at the fan of the show one dollar level Bo diggity Woo! ed burke Woo. the matthew and jennifer carlin foundation for podcast betterment Traygar of breaking tray fabe uh alex cars of power to the smarts on the twitter and bobby fj10 and at a pocky club level and they get the uh gold which is Pretty interesting tonight. Tina Keys, Brandon, and uh, Christopher Bishop out there. Thank you guys for supporting the show. You help keep literally keep the lights on now that we have a studio, and and you're a big part of us doing the move and deciding to to actually upgrade a little bit. So Sorg. we gotta catch Mad Mike up. Sorg. Yeah. Oh no. 
play. If, if I want to see local Pittsburgh wrestling in this area, where would I go? Okay, we started a new thing because <laughs> I, I had an itch to start a site. And I haven't done this for a long time. And I threw one together in like an afternoon. Um, so if it, And so there's a lot of things that need to be done with it. It's really early. But I have a little of a beta of PittsburghWrestling.com if you want to check that out. If you're in the area, uh, there's a nice calendar. And I'm trying to put every event on there that's within a two-hour drive of Pittsburgh. And uh, you, can, you can see that. And if there's anything missing, there's a, a link to our contact form at IndiaWrestling.us. Let me know. And we'll put it in there. And it's a um, wonderful idea. Yeah, I mean, we, I, and, and and I really like the SoCal Uncensored. Um, that does the same thing for Southern California. The couple times I've been out to LA, that's how I found the uh, Insane Blood Show that in Sun City that one time, um, and and some other shows I was considering but didn't make it to. Unfortunately, this last time I was out there because um, I stayed in kind of a different place and it was harder to get to some shows. But still, I, I considering how much wrestling is happening in the area, and literally I found out that, that you can go to a wrestling show um, actually within probably about an hour drive of Pittsburgh um, until November 18th every weekend in Pittsburgh area. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's a lot pretty... Of it's pretty incredible. So it's a hotbed here. It is. It absolutely is. Um, I just got to check out if you're if you're following the Instagram for Wrestling Mayhem Show. I kind of did some road trip uh, diaries. We a big time wrestling was in town with uh, like Sting and Scott Steiner and uh, 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 Billy Gunn and a lot of our friends like Team Storm and and Chris LaRusso on the show. Um, and of course went down to Rise Wrestling for the first time down in um, Lamont Furnace where we were for Stomp Out Cancer in July. Um, so, you know, a little bit of drives out for, you know, south of town. Um, and it seemed like I did that all weekend because we, I, I also had a conversation or uh, filmed a conversation with the Carnegie cop, Frank Holtz, if you're into studio wrestling back in the day. Um, so a lot of stuff, uh, happening like an hour south of town, <laughs> it seems yeah. was like every day for three days for me. So, so out of that, so we need to catch Mike up. Because my kid has watched not so much wrestling and especially not SmackDown. Due, due to work and, and social and, and things happening, right, Mike? Uh, yeah, th- things are things are actually going pretty well in the world of Mike. Mike, but the only reason I didn't watch SmackDown was because I was slinging toys at little kids. There you go. Oh. There you go. Just like Scott Steiner throwing chairs at fans at a, at a ballpark show. So, by, by the way, but, I do have a toy update later. Ooh, for, for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Nice. Be- before nice. Before you get yeah. to SmackDown. Um, I'm curious how much of Raw was watchable for Mike out of the hour and a half you watched. It was all pretty good, actually. You mean SummerSlam? Wow. Slam. You mean, yeah, yeah it, was all, it, was yeah. All, it was all pretty good. Yeah, did you enjoy that hour and a half of SummerSlam you saw last night? Yeah, um, by the way, I fucking told you that Cruiserweight title match was never going to be on SummerSlam. I believe I had that. Okay. I just didn't think it'd be, I just didn't think it'd be this fucking early. The pre <laughs> pre show. Well, they is, did. There is a rematch. It's not even the pre pre show, because you have the pre show, the then pre- you have tonight. NXT, which yeah. is a pre show. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, no, no. I'm counting all the shows <laughs> that are live on WWE before SummerSlam. So you have the SummerSlam pre show, Takeover, sure, I'm sure the Takeover a- pre show, NXT 205 Live. SmackDown, and then Raw. So it was like the pre, 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 pre show. Yeah, they didn't even drop the title on the divisions show. No, no, but still, like it's still. Yeah, like, which they fucking should have. They yeah, really should have. Yeah, yeah. Make it watchable. Yes. Like put the put the thing on the thing. It's the reason you have the thing. Why do I pay the nine ninety nine for again? <laughs> um, Larry, I believe you yeah. have a two truths and a lie for uh, Mad Mike. No, I just had one good one. Oh, you had wait, but what? I will, I will wait. Wait, wait. You only have one. It was yeah. It was about the thing that you only have a there. truth or a lie. What? <laughs> you only have a truth or a lie. Larry, I have pass. you not been informed how this game works? I don't remember. Give, Leave me alone. Give your thing yeah. out, and I'll play the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. You say yours first. Teamwork. And then we and then, can build off of yes. that. So say your Teamwork thing. makes the dream work. Okay. <laughs> uh, huh? Say no. say your thing for uh, two truths and a lie. All right. Say so, your say your fact. My fact for yes. SmackDown 
was that uh, Baron Corbin um, cashed in his money in the bank, Matt, or uh, brief, what are they calling it? Briefcase? Mm-hmm. Briefcase. Briefcase. And now John Cena is facing Baron at SummerSlam for the WWE title. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I can. All right, all right. Oh, you got you got another one. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then and then the other fact from Chad. John Cena beat Jinder Mahal in a singles match clean. All right. Oh man. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think we're playing this game wrong. I think I think we're playing this game wrong. Okay. No. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see where we're at. It's okay. Two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. <laughs> they gave their two facts, and I have to give. An adequate one. Um, yes. Another fact. Another fact. Another fact. Um, I'm yeah. really scared about this SmackDown right now. You can do it. Smack. The anticipation's killing him. Lana. This is, this is a horrible way to start the show. Uh, <laughs> Lana, um, Lana said Tamina Crush tonight. Oh. Wow, I believe all three of those happened. <laughs> <laughs> I believe all three of those happened because SmackDown has been so ass backwards. Oh, well, Matt spoiled it. Did he? Matt, spo- Matt said this is actually two lies and the truth. Oh, well, I... Well, yeah. All right. Well, actually, so, I th- it wasn't an all truth. All, all, I thought we did all lies. <laughs> No, do you, do yours, you all fuck me? It doesn't. I, well, you said it doesn't I, matter. I think yours sometimes, actually happened, though. Sometimes. What's I, that? I think yours actually oh, no, happened. It, 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 it was like the next step was her going to say Rusev crush because she was basically sitting there with Tamina saying, we need to make you, you know, people don't people don't even look at you when you walk by and things like that. You should be dominating or not. So okay, it's just well, like, so all we're leaning towards Rusev. Right, she did say crush. Here's, she here's, did say crush. Here's where I'm going with this. Hmm. Despite how jacked up this has gotten... Alex is now saying that he wishes he'd taken the call because he wants to play this game. <laughs> so maybe now we have a different version for the Mayhem show. Exactly. Uh, and as far as John Cena, I believe uh, Barry. Well, Bar- well, wait, 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 there what, were what? there were some truths. There were some truths in everything lies, we said. Like, yes. Can you point out what part of these lies have a single truth in them? Okay. All right. Um, since we so- we, we gave you all lies. <laughs> Okay, um, so I will, I will say that John Cena probably is facing Baron Corbin at SummerSlam. Well, that was going to happen anyways. That's, that's a fact. Yeah, yes. that was already. That was a fact. Oh, oh that was already okay. Yeah. Um, did did Baron really cash in, and did he lose? Yes. <laughs> wow! What a fucking waste! Not only did he lose, he lost clean. Like, schoolboy. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold. So, Jinder Mahal rolled up Baron Corbin with a schoolboy after cashing in. Yeah. After John Cena distracted. After John Cena distracted him. Oh my god. John Cena what, distracted what? him. Why? Why do we do this? It was it, <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. Okay, on paper it doesn't sound great, but it was pretty great to watch. It was. It was. Actually it was really pretty good to amazing. Watch. You went for a ride with it, sir. But uh, they almost had me believe in that he could have got it. I thought they were gonna. I did. I'm like, whoa, this could get real interesting. Yeah. Now, is, is this just because there's probably gonna be a shakeup after SummerSlam? Yeah, Cross- and Baron yeah. Corbin is probably gonna go to Raw. Yeah, you know, John Cena know. did win the match by DQ though, because Corbin did. interrupted did. a John Cena Jinder Mahal match. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Matt Carlin just indicated you guys need to describe the sequence of events so we can yeah. play it out. And you guys just did a pretty good job of that. So. Corbin slid in, hit him. Cena was going to beat him clean. <laughs> broke up. Broke up was. the count. <laughs> Cena gets the win by. He DQ. had done a super AA off of the top rope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was gonna beat Ginger clean. <laughs> oh yeah. He was. It was done. Right. Yeah. For, for what it's worth, Brandon actually chipped into the chat room here. He has a fact. Shane McMahon got kicked in the face. He did. He did. Yes. He did. Yeah, and so, fact. <coughs> fact. Absolutely. You don't know. You don't know how to play this game at all, Sorg. <laughs> nope. Nope. It was, okay. Bo- Bobby it was your... has one for me in the chat room. 
Bobby has one for me in the chat room. Two all right, all right. Two truths and a lie. He says, The Ascension revealed they are gluten-free. Aiden English beat Randy Orton due to Rusev interference. And a girl <laughs> flipped off John Cena after he caused Baron to lose. <laughs> oh, God. I want to believe all three of those. Um, you know, I'm going to say that even the, even as much as I love Aiden English... There's no way he beat Randy Orton, even with Rusev. Right. I don't even. I don't even think he was on the show tonight, to be honest. But <laughs> yes, the the girl flipping off John Cena that was happened. pretty tremendous and That's right fantastic. on TV. That's fantastic. It's about a like, good. Yeah. Right, she was a good third of the screen, front row, right, 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 right behind him. Yeah, yep. Still face giving him the finger. Pretty great ding, he says. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that he's all cut up, let's get into. Um, of course, we got to rec- we got to see what's coming up with SummerSlam. See what everybody thinks of it, and we are going to have a whole. Uh, we are doing a SummerSlam party here, uh, so keep an eye out for any. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll stream some reactions or something like that. Uh, since we got all the equipment here, um, and uh, but uh, there's it's a whole what seven hours of entertainment. Uh, I think we're doing at this point because that's what we do for SummerSlam now. Um, and, uh, you know, of course highlighted, we had a poll part last night. I don't know if Mikey got to that one, um, with, uh, uh, uh Roman uh, Samoa Joe, uh, Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman. Although mm-hmm. it yeah, does feel, good. it does feel a little bit like it's more the Brock and Braun show at this point. I yeah, Which, give Samoa Joe credit because he stood toe to toe with the mic and I could listen to Samoa Joe talk down to people. Oh, absolutely. Like for hours. Like, like someone Joe just telling me how he's going to kick their asses yeah. is pretty tremendous. Like stepping in and just being like, "No, listen, this mm-hmm. is how it is. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can back up. No one's falling for your tactics." So right, lay it straight on the line for you. Right, Mike, you were going to say it. something. Uh, I was just going to say I'm fully prepared to eat crow about my earlier assessment of the Samoa Joe doesn't work on Raw. Hey. I, I'm I, I was entirely wrong. It just took him a while. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he was. He, he, you know, I think he fits real well with the phys- physical guys. Oh, yeah. Like Braun and Brock. And, you and you know what the problem was? The problem was they put him with Seth right away, and Seth is more of a finesse guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like, you can't do that right away. You have to have Joe just be in there to that's muscle why, people around. That's why Joe was real well with Angle. They had yeah. good matches. Yeah, you need to give him that force. Force versus force. Uh I'm sorry. Wheels just, I just noticed a wheel sent me. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video on Instagram of, of Nia Jax carrying Alexa Bliss out of the ring at a house show, and some boy like slapped her ass because she was up over her shoulder. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did uh, she like swing Alexa at her? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think she just kind of reacted and moved on, but still, it was, it was kind of. <laughs> oh, no. Nia, Nia yells at her at him okay. she's she's intimidating man. she's yeah i wouldn't want i wouldn't want to make her mad but um <laughs> anyways no i think this is gonna be i mean this is gonna be a vicious match um i don't because we got Heyman with the spoilers <laughs> you can yeah. um but i did like the oh because i mean when, when we, i said it last night on the wrap-up like what do we think is going to happen oh well, this is a way for him to lose the belt and not get pinned uh, of course right um and then everybody completely called that out last night yeah like mm-hmm. everybody like yeah. brought that to your attention oh yeah well well Heyman said that weeks ago too and Heyman yeah. makes you believe that he could still win so that whole thing you're mm-hmm. like uh probably gonna lose it and then Heyman starts talking you're like oh you know what maybe man, maybe he keeps it so he's gonna leave start second guessing yourself like Isn't I don't official, know, Heyman, you, um damn <laughs> the guy that's been challenging him in, in UFC lately he, he's gonna be at SummerSlam, right? It's speculated. He I thought it was that's, the, that's the rumor, yeah. yeah. He said he was going to be like just on Twitter, but uh, it must have been there a was no actual job I saw. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't heard anything about an official fight. I think yeah. Lesnar no, there still has to clear his. Um, yeah, he's in the pool for it now with the uh, with the drug testing. I yeah, he has to get through all that. Yeah, so. Eh, you never know. You never know. Maybe maybe uh, the result will depend on how far he is in that process. So, um, we now know, as we discussed in Trucible High, that Nakamura is going to challenge uh, uh, Mr. Jinder at uh, SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. 
because that belt still matters. Let's remind you. Uh, <laughs> I thought Mike would like that one. Um, but anyways, no. It, but but seriously, um, I, I think that's going to be a fun match. Um, because of where it's at, and I think we're going to get into that you know spot where we were before with the um, brand splits, where it's like, oh, we have the important title match at the top of the card, and then we have the one where there's just going to be a bunch of shenanigans at the, at the, at the mid part. And I feel like this is going to be the shenanigans one. Um, you think the Nakamura matches? Well, I think, potentially. I mean, but didn't they kind of take out the any possible shenanigans by having Corbin cash in? But no, you still, they, he's still have got the Singh brothers. Yeah, you still have the brothers. So, or maybe Kali decides to show up again. I don't know. No, Riz doesn't deserve two Kali appearances in one. Oh year. come on, Riz! <laughs> <That's true. laughs> come on, that was his Haley's comet. <laughs> yeah, that was his total total <laughs> lunar eclipse. He has, he has to wait another seven years for a Kali appearance. <laughs> it's made more special because there's only one. <laughs> Kali this is, true. This is, is true. like a beautiful lumbering unicorn. Like, <laughs> yeah, except the horns on his chin. <laughs> Uh, um uh alex says hashtag all belts matter um yes yeah okay all right um but no i i think i think it'll be a fun match in in uh you know maybe do a crazy nakamura entrance here um and uh brandon no i did not hear the nakamura violinist play throughout new york because i'm in poughkeepsie right now but i i saw the videos and it looked really cool Oh, I need to see those. They do, they do some. Cool I wouldn't stuff be surprised if he's playing outside of uh, Takeover. Oh yeah, uh, I, that wouldn't surprise me at all. But maybe we got uh, uh, AJ Styles and uh, Kevin Owens uh, with Shane O'Mac, who has been kicked in the face by both men at this point. Uh, <laughs> because Classic. of course, that, that's going to be the shenanigans match. That's going to be a lot of shenanigans match. Um, so there's that. Okay. Um, it's going to be a good match either way. With a lot. It's your, it's your classic. Um, they hit Shane twice and so now he is going to call it down the middle. Right. Right. Which he probably won't call it down the middle. Right. Right. Somebody's going to jump off of something. Probably Shane because, uh, <laughs> for a count that's in his contract. Yes. <laughs> One. <to>. Shane, <laughs> Shane is just going to enter the Barclays center via helicopter. <laughs> no, is he allowed no. to, because he had some bad luck with that recently. <laughs> when he steps in the ring, he, it, he's contractually ob- obligated to go through an announcer table. Oh, right. uh, Bobby's saying it's official rematch for cruiserweight title at SummerSlam. Thank you, Mad Mike, because I was just going to call oh, our yeah. 205 live correspondent out for not giving us that news. I was yeah, on Facebook live. Come on! I was on Facebook live. Look at the chats. Mm. Uh huh. Likely they story. just had, they just dropped the title yesterday. Tonight doesn't matter. There you go. Hey, here's here's your run in for you. Tajiri shows up to uh, uh, help out Nakamura. Oh God! I'd can we that. or uh, or can we get Funaki? Uh, <laughs> Tajiri's pretty. He's not he's not employed by them anymore. No, the neither moment. is Kali. Kali wasn't either at the moment. No, that's true. I mean, or I don't know. Did Nakamura have any friends in New Japan that haven't come over yet? Pinballer. Oh, okay. Okada. That could be. Okada. <laughs> Okada just rolls out. Yeah. You know. Why not? <laughs> and then Nakamura the, wins and he the, takes the title from Nakamura and raises it. <laughs> like, the, like he won. The wanted. young bucks just hop <laughs> over the ramp to super kick the Singh brothers. Oh, jeez. If only. No, that. that, that. <laughs> if only. Uh, there's related the news to that, but we'll get to it when we talk about it next week. Um, but. <laughs> Uh, no, that'll be a good one. And of course, uh, John Cena and Baron Corbin. Good for Baron, except for that money in the bank thing. That was stupid. Good for, good for Baron for losing cleanly on SmackDown and losing cleanly at SummerSlam. Well, now <laughs> him and John Cena share something. Yes, exactly. Exactly. They have both cashed in a money in the bank and lost. So Them and Damian sword. Sandow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. What's There's that? a comment in the chat about Adam Cole could show up this weekend. That's the oh, thing yeah. I was teasing for later. I fully expect to see him in the crowd wave to people at they go. I'm expecting him to do a run in. Baby! That's, there he has been announced that he does have a contract with WWE via via uh, PW Insider. Um, by the way, Adam Cole Baby in IWC is available for pre-order on IndieWrestling.us right now. I'm just going <laughs> to throw that out there. 
as a shameless plug. <laughs> um, uh, so there is that thing going on. Uh, hey, Tina, uh, uh, Missy, give her a paragraph of what she's missed. <laughs> For tonight? Just, just copy your notes so far. Yes, paste yes, them in the yes. Chat just, just paste all your notes in the chat room just so she knows. She'll get, uh... she'll get an idea there. That's what, that's what we do for our Patreons. Um, we're not at NXT yet. I'm trying to do that, go down the line. <laughs> yeah, what else? We uh, for well, tag teams. We really should have done NXT first, considering that's first before summer. Yeah, that was I my just point. The importance and and I was worried that people would be turned off because who's excited about Drew Galloway? I mean, wait, Drew Mack. <laughs> ah, you did it. it. I did. It you again. did the thing. Did you did the thing. I've been so good about it. When we're you in know NXT what? mode, I, I'm good at it. I will give WWE credit. This is the first time in three years I've been more excited for a SummerSlam main event than I have been for a TakeOver main event. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll give you credit. That okay, is true. Well, Mike, do you like tag team wrestling? I, I, I do like tag team wrestling. Because there's two tag team matches on this. There is a, On SummerSlam? On SummerSlam. Yes. We got New Day and the Usos, which we well, yeah. have determined it's going to be, um, I believe, Xavier Woods and Big E. Yeah, okay. uh, representing. We got that in advance. And Ambrose and Rollins against uh, The Bar. Are you sure that the Uso match isn't the pre-show? Well, it's... I, no. no. They, they, so they won't put New Day on the pre-show. Anything. Yeah, they won't put New Day on the pre-show. That match will pre-show. happen on Sunday. Yes. So, if nothing else, the, the tag titles have <laughs> that definitely for sure. been popped up. Um, it may be a pre-show. Although... Uh, but... Usos versus New Day should be a, a a gimmick match, no? It's a rubber match, I mean, so maybe. Usos just won the tag match against them tonight. Yeah, that was where they had a tag match before the championship tag match. Yeah. What? But, what the, not, all these people singles. having matches before their matches. Yeah, oh my you God, know. There, the hell's up with this? There are 12 matches booked for SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> Yep. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there is. I don't even see the Cruiserweight match on here, but it was, probably, it was just reannounced. But women's uh, titles, you know, hey, women's you know titles are on the line. On here, Stork? What's that? Stork, you know what isn't on here? Hmm. There's no Intercontinental title match. Oh. Good, there, good, good work, The Miz. Making that more there, important. Hey, that's the, it ain't The Miz's fault. Mm-mm. I mean, if you were going to give a, some, a potential SummerSlam match away for free, why didn't they do Jason Jordan beating The Miz on Monday? True. Yeah. Why didn't they do that instead of... Were, I thought they were setting up for the IC title for Jordan. And I could see Miz and Jordan on the pre-show announced like later Mid- late this week. <coughs> Angle might be getting um, a second paternity test, though. <laughs> so so they're, they're like, ah, they're, they might be holding off on that Angle. That could be, no, too. That no could pun be. intended. Angle, Angle's just Googling if charisma is sexually transmitted. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, I just realized we're not even doing a much of a, a, a kind of winners for this one. Who do you guys? Who do you guys pick in the four way, real quick? Oh. Mm. I'll pick the hardest. Do you match. want my? <laughs> do you want my heads pick or my hearts mm. pick? Heads pick. Heads pick. Um, Smojo. Wow, really? Yeah, that's my head. Man, that would be my, awesome. my head is my head is saying Smojo. Uh, my heart's saying Braun. My nightmare. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Brock's done either way. <laughs> saying my Roman. living nightmare would be Roman <laughs> my, winning the my, title. I'm going my, my anus is saying Roman <laughs> because Burn I will shit off. myself. Ooh, <laughs> Matt Carlin's is pipe dreaming of the Shield reuniting to screw Brock and run him out of the WWE. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be like that's honestly the only way the Roman thing works. As long yes, as absolutely. Roman doesn't win, that's the win only the title. way that thing works. What was that, Chad? As long as Roman doesn't win the title. Yeah, Joe can sneak. Joe can sneak a pin. But in if there. he's shield, that kind of makes it a little better. They can. They can. Well, that can. Yeah. Braun Strowman can lift all three of those dudes up and throw them <laughs> through the Titan true. Tron. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Braun for mine. So, um, um, I mean, I can see the Shield taking everybody out, and then Samoa mm. Joe smartly picking, uh, picking up the. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Joe Vultures. Mm. I like uh, Joe winning. Nakamura and Gender. I'm going Gender. I don't think Nakamura gets this one. When I, oh, yeah, I, I, I can see both sides of the argument. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Nakamura just because I can't see that guy holding the title for more than three months. No? So. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to oh. put a qualifier on this. If this match is last, it's Nakamura. Oh, yes. Anything, anything else, it's gender. 
But yeah, I, I can't imagine anything but Brock being last on this show. I have a follow up question. Uh, I I could. What's the Brock next... wasn't Brock wasn't last last year with Orton because that's, that that's because true. of how that match was. Mm-hmm. True, true. Uh what's the next SmackDown pay per view? Uh, hold on. I have the SummerSlam wiki up. I can check. Okay. Um, sorry, go, go to the next match. I'll find. All out right, next match. match uh, uh, Owens and Styles. I think Shane O'Mac wins. Who is the belt? Um, <laughs> St- <laughs> Styles. Styles. They've switched a couple of times. I'm just yeah, making yeah. sure. I think it goes Owens again. Right? I I think it's gonna stay Styles stay and turn into a Owens and Shane feud. Yeah, mm. I'm a, I'm a player on this to, one. To answer okay. your question, you're looking for the next SmackDown. Yeah. After SummerSlam. Uh, there's a TBA but, rumored for Seattle, Washington that is, isn't listed, but other than that, it's Hell in a Cell in that, October. Yeah. That's raw. For SmackDown. Though. Oh, no, really? No Mercy Smackdown is raw. Got it. Wow. Yeah, No Mercy is raw, and that's, that's they're the alternating. I'm telling you, man, wow. they're they're alternating so that these guys get them oh. every other year. So, so I guess I'm gonna go gender. because mm-hmm. I don't think Nakamura would defend. Oh, well, you got to you got remember, Hell in a Cell somebody? is not till October. Mm-hmm. Hell in a Cell ain't till October, so... A lot can happen between now and then. True. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. True. I'm, I'm still going to say gender. Nakamura to sit up... Nakamura could go, go again Tina, in the Tina cell. Tina says Nakamura... With a couple others or something. They're T- not going to put him in the cell. Tina says either. Nakamura to sit up Nakamura and AJ for Survivor Series. When would... Yes! When would gender get his rematch? If he lost, they're not going to do the. They're not going to put him in Hell in the Cell. No, right we don't know what pay per view is going to pop no, up. Here's right the now. thing: not Hell in the Cell prison. Hell in the Cell. They put him in the Punjabi prison. To, yeah, why would they, why would they put him in Hell in the Cell after they did that? Because, hell in the Cell is a rather tame. Because the Hell in the Cell is a better match. It used to be. It is. It is a better match. Let's convoluted. Although that was a pretty great prison. Although I don't know if Nakamura works in Hell. There's less climbing in Hell in the Cell. Okay, and Tina did clarify there will be no Seattle pay per view. We got a house show in October due to having Raw in Portland. Mm. It's mm. tough. Uh, Jinder could get his rematch the next night. You know, on Smack. Oh, absolutely. The next night, but the yeah. next show on Smack. Yeah, they absolutely. like to do that. Plus, it's still it's, it's like th- it's like a four night stand in Brooklyn. So but I'm gonna say I want to say Jinder. I, mm-hmm. I think Nakamura's got good things, but I think it's. He's going to get take the title time. at some point. They're going to take time with it. And then Styles needs to get <laughs> Yeah. They're going to take so. time with it. T- Tina says Hell in a Cell is going to be reserved for Shane versus Kevin Owens. Thank oh, you I can see that. She's yeah. exactly yeah. right. I can She's see it. A- Tina, you are through the looking glass. How about a side note? How about it's a big weekend for WWE Japanese wrestlers? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because Tozawa has a belt. Asuka has a belt. And Mr. Nakamura could. Has a chance to win a belt, True. and they have chances to retain. And, and Hideo has a has a match as well, so it looks like it'd be a lot better than it has been for him. Who does yeah. he have a match against? Um, uh, Al- Alistair Black. Oh, that's a surprise. So lots of kicks. Yeah. Um, uh, John, so, John Cena and Corbin. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say Corbin. Corbin. I'm gonna go Corbin too. Mm, Corbin with some fishy business. Yeah. Okay, I can see that too. Cena's, I think Cena's going to put him over. After tonight, I'm going to say Corbin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> after oh, we yeah. saw tonight. <laughs> you got to give him, you got to throw him a bone after that, man. Yeah. Mike? <laughs> Mike? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Oh, 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 he's the one singing. He's the one singing. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Uso's New Day. I think New Day keeps it. New Day. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Consensus all around. Wait, <laughs> right. hold on. New Day are champions? I thought the Usos are champions. Nope, no, they, dro- they dropped it at a uh, thing. Oh, okay. I don't remember wow. what it was. I can't, it, it was shows, uh, shows how much their tag team well, division is. They dropped it at the, down. what was that pay per view? Battleground with that's the Punjabi prison? Yeah. Yeah. They dropped yeah, it there. Okay. One. Oh, that's that's right. Okay. Because uh, yeah, Xavier, New Day Xavier had his big win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's the New first Day one. Retains. Yep. He's the first one actually, yeah, won the belt. Yeah. Or first time yeah, for him. That, that's, that's right. I, I remember now. But yeah, New Day Retains. Uh, Ambus Rollins and uh, The Bar. Let's go, Ambus Rollins, I'd say. The Bar. You think the bar? Yeah. yeah. Is that what they're called I, now? They're called the bar. You know what, I, you much, know what yeah. I want? You know what I want so, so badly? Dumb. Shame. If they set the I, bar. I want the bar to win, then Ambrose to turn on Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want that so badly. Let's, it's not going to happen. It's right. not going to happen. I think it, the, the, the Shia is, is going to win. The Shia. Because it's two thirds of the Shia. I think the. the to get everybody thinking of an of a total shield reunion, 
they will lose. I don't think so. I, I think I think Those they're going to win, lose. and then they're going to work this until WrestleMania, where it's all going to fall apart. Tina's well, going for a Dean turn on Seth as well. <laughs> so you got you got that out there. I mean, if we're going to do a Shield reunion, it's not going to happen yet. I'll tell you when it will happen: Survivor Series. When they have to get two more members. No, yeah, you can do four on four. No, you can do Shield could. and Shield and John Cena versus Braun Strowman. Shield and John Cena. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Shield John and John Cena, Cena versus. I think you're going to get Braun Strowman, uh, Baron Corbin, Sheamus, Cesaro. Boom. I think you're going. That's oh. it. Oh, I'm just going to sneeze, but. Now I'm I'm getting a kick out of the chat room for this reason because Matt Carlin is the one that's calling for the full Shield reunion. Like he's he's all in on the the Shield reunion. Um, Missy, there's a very specific reason Matt Carlin is calling for an all Shield reunion because he is going to get the freakiest <laughs> night of his life if that happens that night. <laughs> wow. Hey, you know, it's all about du- that double tap. Bold prediction. Yeah. Bold double prediction tap. from Mad Mike. <laughs> double tap. Double tap. <laughs> um, Sasha and Alexa Bliss. Oh, I oh Sasha. Goes, I think it goes to Sasha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. don't. No? You think Alexa could I don't with think it? they were planning on her being in the match to begin with. That's so I don't true. think they're going to drop it to That her. is true. I, I think they're going to drop it to Sasha. Because mm-hmm. then they're going to do a Bailey Sasha feud. Maybe do a uh, uh, Iron Woman match too. <laughs> and by by the way, Jen and Matt are basically in the chat room. Sounds like they're confirming my theory. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Jen's mom's in the chat room too. <laughs> <laughs> I made it awkward. I made it awkward. All right, now we just have to make it awkward for Katie's mom, and we'll have a. We don't need to do that. No, no, we don't need to do that, Larry. No. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you forgot, Naomi and Natalia. So I'm going Carmella. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking Carmella. I'm not thinking Carmella. No? Because no. Carmella hasn't cashed in, right? You're right. right. You're right. James Ellsworth. I, I think she's getting shaken up to Raw. Okay. Okay. I really, really think she's getting shaken up, shaken up to Raw with that briefcase so she can eventually cash in whenever Bailey beats Sasha. Mm. Mm. I kind of like how that goes. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. I'm going to disagree, and I'm going to say Carmella's going to cash in and win. Okay. You really think she, they're going to do both cash ins in a week? They're not. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yes. It's, yeah, I do. It's like a fever. Get them off the okay. table. Get them off the table. I think, I, I, think it, I think Carmella is smart enough to see how that cash in went and realize she needs to pick a better opportunity. Mm-hmm. If she goes the wrong down the line, she just. Team up with big cast. Yeah, Bobby's Bobby's dropping a comment that the entire Money in the Bank pay per view is for nothing this year. If this is what they're doing, mm-hmm. that's the gamble you pay. Yeah, I mean, you know, Money in the Bank winners aren't always the best. True, they're just not. True. I don't know why they wasted Corbin's cash in so quickly, but that was hilarious. Yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> big moments. Mike, you, you, de- you need to go back and watch that. Yes. It, yeah, it's. So, with that, and of course, uh, apparently the cruiserweight match, I think Tozawa holds on to that. We forgot the big match of the night. What? It's not listed here. The big show and big cast with oh. Enzo over, over in a shark cage. In the shark cage. The poorly painted shark cage. Yes. Is it painted? Yeah, because it was all because over was big all show over after big last show. night. He had it on his shoulder yeah. and his hand. Yeah, they're doing the promo afterwards in the back with his hand broken. And, and he's just like, I'm like, what the hell is all over him? And I'm just like, oh, that's from the cage. Silver just paint. silver spray paint yep. Yep. that came off on him? Right. Yep. yep. They probably just painted it that day. Yep. All right, Sorg, I have a bold prediction for that match. Who will be the winner? The concession stands. Oh. 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 Mike, hey, are you, you going to be there Sunday? Uh, no, I'm not going to SummerSlam. He's oh, you're gonna, not? He's going to take over. Oh, okay. I, I, this is the one year I've actually picked the wrong show to go to. <laughs> yeah. hey, big show. Did we talk about Did we talk about Demon Balor versus Bray Wyatt? Yeah. Oh, no, it's yeah. also not listed. Yes, we got the Demon. After Thank you, Brandon. Big for bring, show has great matches up. when he has broken hands. <laughs> I remember yeah. the Big Show versus Triple H match when he had a cast on his hand. Big it was show actually and, done very well. Was it Big mm-hmm. Show and Brock? Or, no, that was Taker and Brock. Ta- yeah. Taker and Brock were... Taker had a broken hand. I think so. Yeah, it was Taker so. and Brock. And Big also, Show, Big Show puts that cast on that hand. 
and I don't know. He's I mean, we'll, like a whole so, new man. And plus, we've had Big Show and Braun, so we'll see if Cass has has the chops. Mm. I guess on we'll on see. a pay per view. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Now we got that <laughs> Finn Balor. Well, now we've had the third shark cage in a year. Yeah, that's so that they get Sorg, a special one. Sorg, I told you they have to something. sell that new toy. Yeah, there's a new shark. Well, oh yeah, toy what's the new toy, out. Mike? Oh, so the new toy alert is they're making they're coming out with a WWE women superstar an entire line, and they're all like normal action figures, and they're fucking dope. Are they they're the, awesome. really, are they really the awesome. Barbies? Like the Barbie styles? No, they're coming out with that too. But they like also have ones. just regular ass action figures that are the same size as the male action figures, and they actually look like women. The, oh, uh, good. Oh, good, because they have it for a while. That's nice. Did you see the zombie uh, Sasha thing? I o- I've i almost bought that about 18 times. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Uh, Tina's pointing out that we're getting demon um, uh, due to the demon due to forced brood tactics. A viscous, uh, acidic liquid. Acidic liquid. It's very thick, by the way. I noticed. So. Uh, can I can I ask something? Sure. Does anyone care about Bray Wyatt at this point? No, mm, I still do. I don't. Deep down. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm-hmm. Not even. Bray Wyatt's a great worker. Yes, he is. Yes, He's he a is. great worker. There's just a lot happening. He eats L's, <laughs> eats losses, <laughs> and puts people over. Yep. Time and time, year in, year out. He's listen. Did Papa Shango win a lot of matches? No. Wow! Sword. Now, you're gonna make now, him the Papa Shango. I will say, of, I will say Sorg, his Papa character Shango lasted eight months. His character is Papa Shango lasted eight months before we got little... Kama, the Supreme Fighting Machine. All right. In my mind, he was around forever, but I was pretty young then. No, I'm, that, that was the longest eight months of your life. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> eight months was a long time when you were twelve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now Bray does need to refine a little bit of his character. Now it's stretching a little thin. It is. It is. But. Yes. I still think he's good. At work. His match quality is still fine. Mm-hmm. His workload and, and mm-hmm. what he does with people, mm-hmm. he can still go. Mm-hmm. Just his character is a little, it's, it's it's wearing just a tiny bit. Thin. Because he goes out there and he says something. It's, they're good promos and they're intelligent and they're interesting, but that but not like by themselves, but... In the grand scheme, it's just like, what are we doing? They're, yeah, I, they're getting yeah. a little. They're the same promo every single. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't away. even listen to his promos I, like, anymore. I, I can't differentiate the promos anymore, mm-hmm. like from week to week. Like, right. If right. you if you if you recited me an entire Bray Wyatt promo with the name he, of the person he's feuding with taken out, I would not be able to guess what. Feud it's it just was. like the Undertaker. I mean, you're going to be realistic here. The Undertaker had the, the same Undertaker promo for a decade. Near, he mm-hmm. didn't talk nearly as much as Bray, though. But he and the still Undertaker relied on actually, the, same, the same things. Mm-hmm. Lightning, And the Undertaker smoke. actually won. Yeah, that's the only difference, is yeah. there was this aurora around the Undertaker, and he had years in the business. But, how, but his promo style was the same with every long, single guy. But how long before Undertaker became a good guy, too? True. So I mean, Bray has been for several years. I mean, now. he did the American Badass. So, yeah. But basically, the Undertaker did the same thing. I'm going to crawl down on the ring. I'll put your name on one of the tombstones. You'll be something in O. And uh, you know, rest in peace. Tongue out, eyes back. Lightning. Here's my hands. Here's my hat. I'll show up when the lights go out, and I'll see you next year. Right. For <laughs> for what five six years in a row? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, so I. I, I he needs to evolve, and the problem is he hasn't Maybe, evolved. He's Bray, still Bray. Bray needs to be American Badass, I guess. American Bray? Badass Bray. I thought Riding he was going that way. He was, he was wearing... No, Bray. Bo Dallas got it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just need to swing that way. Put that bandana Bray, on and start Bray riding bikes. Bray needs to either turn face or win. Yep. Bray would actually make a pretty good American Badass. <laughs> <laughs> like with the dreads pulled back, bandana. Mm-hmm. Cut off shirt. Sons of Anarchy uh, uh, Bray teaming up with his brother. Driving they to the ring like, in a John Deere that's tractor. It. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> no, 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 that was somebody else. That a was Sons of Anarchy Bray. That was the Mexicals. Oh. Oh, no, right. no, no, Bray has that ghost tractor that he can drive in. <laughs> yeah, remember, just ride Remember the House of Horrors match? He can get that cool trike that Triple H used for WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That thing's spooky. Holy Sons of Wyatt. Hell. Anything else for Sunday night we need to discuss? 
Other than the um, team and Balor's is probably going to um, call any Brandon, matches. I don't think so. No, he's he, the Brand- only thing he's doing was the women's tournament. Mm-hmm. Brandon was saying that the Hardys one. aren't on SummerSlam. The Hardys are not on SummerSlam Real, at all. Wow. Well, mm-hmm. I have a feeling the match was supposed to be like a four-way tag tail match with the Shia, uh, the Bar Hardys, and the Revival. But Revival got hurt. Mm. I have a feeling that's where that was supposed to go. Or like a turmoil match with the club in it too. But Wait, did Revival get re-hurt? Yeah, uh, yeah. dude dislocated oh, his shoulder or something. He's out until December. And, yeah, Dawson's out like six months almost. That sucks. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, on that note, you know what? We're going to be probably eating here on Sunday here at SummerSlam party. Pro. No, well, well okay. <laughs> some of us, yes. <laughs> But along with that, Crow, <laughs> goes a really good slice of Slice on Broadway. Our good friends, the Perfect Pepperoni Support in Pittsburgh, podcasting here uh, right on Broadway, right up the street, uh, feeding our in-studio guests and co-hosts here for a good long time. And so please support them, sliceonbroadway.com, pgh underscore slice on the Twitter. And thank you, everybody, that's been rolling in saying um, Mayhem sent, uh, sent me or Sorg sent me. Some people are saying... Kick the um, door down. <laughs> no, don't kick the door down because they had to pay for that. Break the walls down? I know. Well, okay, that's more more of, uh, 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 you know... How about burn it down? No, 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 Bring me up a pepperoni pizza, man. <laughs> Check them out. Patronize them at Slice and Broadway. And thank you. And we'll be right back. You want us after. to patronize them? No, no. Patronize them as in a patron. Like the Patreon at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem. Pat, pat them. No. <laughs> Swag it. And you the pizza and say, <laughs> good job just pat my shoulder good job just hey. make sure you pay them after you pat them <laughs> just pay them pat them patreon them. otherwise they'll send sparkle pants after you <laughs> we'll be back after this with our big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com we are back it's the wrestling mayhem show sorgatron here along with the crew larry and chad the shad hanging out on the couch good evening Good evening. The man Mike up in Pooh, Kipsy, New York. Woo! <laughs> Everybody's so excited. And of course, an awesome chat room, including Wheels, Billy, mm, both of the Carlins and their mom. Uh, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> Tina, Chris, Trey. Um, well, we didn't answer this question. I don't know if Scott McGee is still alive. I also miss jobbers like uh, 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 Dan Spivey and, and Mike Sharp. I just want to throw we that have out jobbers. there. His name is our truth. Oh yes. Well, we didn't even bring up Elias and Bray Wyatt. Oh man. By the way, Elias Ooh. has the best shirt in the business right so, now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tina has a question. In the Tina chat. has a question. What? What international shitty uh, city? <laughs> oh, shitty. what international shitty? <laughs> No. Should have a pay-per-view because it's been 25 years since SummerSlam at Wembley Stadium. That is way better than my question, Tina, and I'm with you. Thank my you, answer, Tina. My answer is Heinz Field. No, International Sorg, City, uh, Sorg. Sorg, <laughs> international Heinz Field city. is neither Heinz a city Field. nor international. Welcome to Britsburg. <laughs> <laughs> I raise you. Just question. out of curiosity, what was your big question? It was going to be who who else should come off the indies now that Adam Cole's on his way. Oh. Yeah, I like Tina's question much better. Okay. And debut at All which right. international pay-per-view. <laughs> okay, so... Um, um, which which city? Yeah, because I don't know arenas necessarily out there. Yeah, just work. But as far as international city. city, I mean, geez, Chikara went to London or England, England, at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, takeover, year. takeover did London. They did do London. Yeah, yeah that was the Wembley Stadium. So, so, where oh. would you go? Where would you go? I think, I think since we're going that way, I think they should drop something in India. Oh. Okay. No, that, that would be. be I don't know. Actually, that would be. I don't know. TNA perfect. went to India and it did not work out. Well. It didn't work out. I didn't watch any well, of those. They have the modern day Maharaja. They had to pay the crowd, and they had to really like, like I'm sure WWE would do it differently. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think WWE has to worry about that necessarily. But could you imagine? I mean, they did do a live event from Tokyo, so yeah, 
they did do the beast from. So I, I, you know, and and, and and I can see them dropping SummerSlam. SummerSlam could be in India. It, Sorg. Hmm. What we've already d- disputed that. So okay. Okay. What What are your answers? What, and what would you name it if if you had a new pay per view in an international? What city would you put it in? What would you name I, it? I'd go back to London and I'd hold a King of the Ring. Mm-hmm. Well, that'd be nice. That'd be good. That's that's what I would do. I I would hold the King of the Ring, a one night pay per view tournament, and just have it in London and have you know there what? be like an official coronation at the end of the night. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna top that one, Mike, because okay. it's the Queen in England. Oh, Ooh. okay. Queen okay. So do a Queen of the Ring match. Mm. I like it. That'd like be it, fun. Like it. Mm. Maybe that's when they, they launch the women's division to the UK division. There you go. Whatever they're going to do with that. Uh, mm. Billy says Paris. Paris is good. Tokyo Dame from uh, Matt Carlin's, and they have the uh, stars to sell it out. So definitely. Are, so are, you're going to the chat room before the rest of us have already answered. I'm still thinking. Yeah, but yeah, I have. Yeah, I have an answer. Did you not see my hand in the air? Oh, I, I thought answered. that was telling thought him thought to hurry up. No, that was not my answer. I was just going off of whatever what the conversation was. Okay. Sydney, Australia. Okay. Good one. I could see that. I could see that. No. I think that area. they could have a lot of fun with that. Okay. Except okay. SummerSlam in Sydney, Australia would be winter time because of the hemisphere <laughs> thing. <laughs> but that could be one of the appeals to it is that they could do it at a different. You could do a cold time. day in hell. Yes. Cold day in hell. Christmas in July. Oh, it's in August. Oh, I love that. See? The is Christmas in July. And we still have Santa Claus. Uh, what about <laughs> you, Chad? Mexico City. Yes. Oh, somebody else said Mexico City, too. That's right. The name it High Humidity. Uh, Chris in the chat. <laughs> yes. High Humidity. <laughs> I've always liked the <laughs> pay-per-view name High Humidity, just because I think it'd be hilarious. Then didn't you name some of your backyard yeah. events? Like yeah. That? High Humidity and TVA and... Uh, TVA, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Labor Day layout. Nice. Memorial Day massacre. <laughs> yeah. Larry, do you have one? I'm going to say Amsterdam. Amsterdam? Just because I want to see how many people can not get into trouble. Ooh. <laughs> Headlined by Rob Van Dam. Headlined I was going to say, that would have to feature the return oh, wait, of wait, Rob wait. Van Dam. No, 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 no. Your headline is Rob Van Dam versus Val Venus, because holy crap. If you look yeah. at like his Twitter. Oh, he's oh, all into that. Man. And uh, also... Um, Ryan, help me. You, you could also bring in the rabbit trap from the Jumper for that show. He's wrestling mm-hmm. right now. Brian, Brian Kendrick. Brian oh, Kendrick. Kendrick. Mm. Kendrick. He's a big fan of Amsterdam. Oh, I'm sure he is. I'm sure. Mike, did you get one? What was yours? I, I said, I said um, you do the King of the Ring in London. That's right. That's right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Back to the Oh, we were room. coming up with a new pay-per-view. I thought it was just for SummerSlam. If oh, you wanted to. No, no just, I think it's just kind of... He's, she said what pay-per-view... Or she said, you know, what, what city what should city have a pay per view? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was which was city like, sh- should have SummerSlam. Um, yeah, no, that, no, that just was, in general. That was her question. It was? No, it well, wasn't. Well, no, uh, should have a pay per view. Okay. Yeah, what should have a yeah. pay per view? Oh, okay. Um, sorry. Toronto, I don't know if we mentioned. Frankfurt, Germany. Toronto's had WrestleMania. They don't count. They're basically the true, US. but it, but it'd be good for them to return. I, I'd like to see them in in the Superdome. No, wait, in no. Toronto. Yeah, what was Skydome? Skydome, thank Sky you. Dome. Something yeah. dome. I couldn't remember. That's why I'd like I, to I'm see sorry. Him in I Mexico Hulk, City. Hulk Hogan Actually, did. you know what? Let's. Uh, I'm going off of what Billy said in the chat room. Let's have a pay per view inside the Roman Coliseum. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck it. Ooh. If they they could rebuild one of the stadiums, and, and you can actually call it WWE. Roman Reigns. Vince will love it. <laughs> Vince, Vince will love Vince that would shit. Love it. Brandon says they could rebuild one of the stadiums in Rio from when they had the Olympics. I think they have some issues in Rio, though. Oh, um, no, we're not going. We ain't going to Rio. Nobody's going to Rio we're, right now. No, 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 no. Don't make fun of that guy's cat. Um, we don't even want to go do to Beijing. Del Rio. We're not going to actual Rio. <laughs> That's true. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so let us know your answers to the big question, guys. Um, I keep getting Mike eating. I'm sorry. I don't switch away fast enough. Just like Mike comes well, home like freight from work and into show, so he's like multitasking a bit. And, and Sorg, the the video you're showing me is behind. I never know when I'm actually on camera. <laughs> Wait, are you Are you sure? Because you. I'm absolutely positive. Oh, you're talking about the one up there. Hold on. You, yeah. Yeah. Yo, look at that one. 
Look at Son of a bitch, Sorg. See that one over there? Okay. Just, oh, just that eat when you're no, on I still camera. Can't see it. Sorg, now he's looking at you. <laughs> Hey, just, how you doing? yeah, just eat when you're on just, camera. Then we'll, yeah. they'll cut. <laughs> this, is, hey, so this is this is what Mad Mike sees <laughs> from this camera here. Hey guys, how you doing? I see nobody, nothing. Nobody, nobody knows what's happening. This is great for the podcast, by the way. Um, so, anyways, um, hi, hi Mike. Now I'm just getting dizzy. There's a cheat. I was getting dizzy. Um, so we need to talk about uh, takeover. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> and and um and I don't know if it's just the point where NXT is, or if this was a, a hint of desperation that they they're having a homecoming for Takeover this year. Wait, what? They're having a dance. You <laughs> <laughs> shit. It was Sadie I gotta Hawkins. I got find a partner. That should have been a big question. It was a, it was a Sadie Hawkins dance. She had to reverse ask. And um, <laughs> oh. Alone so, again. That's how, that's how it goes. You won't <laughs> believe who Oscar asked. <laughs> oh, wait, is that a real thing or are you just making it up? No, I want to get. I want to guess who Oscar asked. We're, we're finishing Braun our two Stroman. truths and a lie. Here's your big question: If you had NXT Sadie Hawkins, how did that go? But anyways, <laughs> but for real. Um, no, they're having an NXT homecoming where like Corey Graves is going to show up and Finn and, and, and I think some of the girls are, are, are too, are going to be there. Okay. So they're really fucking desperate. <laughs> they are not sold on this main event is what we're saying. I guarantee it's going to turn into a triple threat. Like well, we haven't had NXT happening this week. I would almost guarantee it's going to turn into a triple threat. Right. Right. I mean, we do have a, a, a match coming up, uh, with, 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 with Roddy and Drew. And yeah, like, um, I have a question. Can we just put Adam Cole in the main event against Bobby Roode? <laughs> that immediately makes that pay per view so much better. You never know. You never know what's going to happen there. Mm-hmm. So true. It'd be really great if Bobby Roode just beat the shit out of Drew McIntyre like within ten minutes and said, "You know what? No one can beat the glorious one, Bobby Roode." And out comes Adam Cole. Adam Cole, baby. Um, like we that'd was, be insane. So somebody, that would be absolutely insane. Right, right. So you know he's gonna play in somewhere. It'd be great if he played in with the Johnny Gargano until Trampa came back. Now I think about it. Mm, yeah, that's a good idea. Is he a heel? Who? Adam Cole. He's whatever he wants to be. <laughs> oh, okay. Is he a unicorn? He he kind of is. Really? Well, I mean, see, if Adam Cole did come out at some point during Takeover. He would immediately be a face because it's his, it'd be his debut, and it's in Brooklyn. That like mean anything. Ring of Honor, that's a huge Ring of Honor crowd. They know who Adam Cole is. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, that, well, I mean, you, you're going to have you know you're going to have the the hardcore wrestling fans there Saturday night. They're doing pre tapes for NXT beforehand, right? No. Before yes, takeover, yeah. they usually they do. Oh, oh, oh do you that. mean you mean day of? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do. They yeah, do. they always do that. They do. I'm hoping, he, I, I'm hoping we get the third Oni Lorcan versus uh, Danny Birch. Match. As much buzz as he's had just the last few months, believe me, they're not just dropping him on a pre-show match. Mm. Like, no, he's on mm-hmm. Kevin Owens level. He's on Finn level. He's on um, Nakamura level going into this thing. Yeah, he's a pretty much. son. I they've, mean, they've he did. He years. did win the world title in the Tokyo Dome in January. So, which is the only time I think that I have ever witnessed live a Ring of Honor title change. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, right? No, it doesn't. Yeah. World title, world title, of course, but because uh, I'm sure I've seen some of the other ones. But anyways, um, so Bobby Roode wins, right? Uh, I think he has I to. Guess yeah. True. I'm just not sold on Drew. Like I, actually, you know what? They're dumb enough to push Drew. Mm. If there's no shenanigans, Drew probably wins. I don't want it, but Drew probably wins. <laughs> Do not want. <laughs> if the, yeah, if, I, I don't want it at all. If they're and, pushing, they might take, push Bobby up to main event or uh, main roster too. They could. They could. So they could. I could see sense. a Bobby Roode Miz feud. But man, oh it's not God. like. It's not like they're hurting for talent on either of those rosters on the main roster. No, they have, they're getting to the point where they're going to be firing people soon. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of the bottom is going to fall out of that for sure. Well, I'm, I'm really hoping we get a few main roster people going down to NXT. 
I'm really hoping for that. Thank yeah, you. love to see it. I, yeah, I don't, I don't see it happening. Um, they used to do it only for like certain. They used to do it for like Rider weekly specials. Yeah, like Cesaro went down for a week mm-hmm. and had a match. Mm-hmm. Rider, um, I think um, Tyson Kidd went down there Le- too. Yeah, the last person Tyson to do Kidd. it with was uh, Kurt Hawkins against um, who was that guy? Elias? Uh, no. No, against Alistair Black. Is that who it was? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say, um, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I liked when they used to do like the special one offs. Mm-hmm. Or... But that's when they were kind of building that NXT brand. They didn't, you know, yeah. nobody was really a name enough. It and, made sense. Yeah, it, it did. It did to get people to watch it. Like throwing John Cena on the first episode of Main Event. Yeah. Right. Because they were, they were like, hey, this is a thing over here and you should pay attention. And then it just rides itself. Um, we have Sanity and Authors of Pain. I believe that is something, Mike, that you have been... And, and by the way, we talk about this every week on Midweek War. Mike is not happy the fact that we have so many undefeated people on the NXT roster. Uh, yeah, I, I seriously think every champion in NXT needs to lose. Yeah, cause, well, every one of them is undefeated. Every, every one of them is undefeated, and it's... I think Os- it's Oscar ridiculous. needs to lose the most. <laughs> really? Like, it, I think so, at this point. I, th- I think Ember's going to snake one. Hmm. And just like sneak a pin, pull one out the from only, her. Yeah. The only way that works is if Ember challenges the winner of the May Young Classic. I mean, uh, Asuka challenges the winner of the May Young Classic. That could be fun. Yeah, Asuka's up to five hundred days. Yep, I don't know. That's a long yep. time. Yep. Yeah, if Asuka if Asuka retains that takeover, she'll have a longer title reign than CM Punk. Wow. And I wonder if they're. Having her keep it just to break that, <laughs> because they are petty and vindictive enough to do that. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, also, well, okay, so we 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 do have Oscar and 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 uh, and Ember Moons. I guess we kind of just give her picks for that. Alistair Black and Hideo Tommy. This is the most I've been excited for Hideo. I'm still not. No. Yeah. No. This is the most I've ever seen him actually wrestle. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, so it's good. Don't I, get don't get injured again. That's for sure. I I, mm-hmm. I just I don't care about him. I'm not I'm not into Hideo at all. Mm-hmm. Not so I I I just haven't seen anything since he's been back. The most interested I've been was when he was doing that brief thing with Bobby Roode. Him and, and Oni Lorcan. Oh my god that that was awful. Oh wait no. Who am I thinking of? I'm sorry. I'm thinking of... You're thinking Cassius. I'm thinking Cassius. Yeah, no, no, no. The one with Oni where he came out and... What did he... He, he busted him open. He busted, he busted him open. He got yeah. busted open. He got busted open yeah. and then they came back and had a match anyway. That was good. That was great. Anything, Oni Lorcan should be main eventing. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Oni, like, he has a stupid fucking name, but his matches are must see. Mm-hmm. He has not had a shit match on NXT since he started and nope. there are not many people that you can say that about absolutely there are not many people you can say that um him and uh birch have been amazing in the last few weeks I, and, and uh, i think are I they gonna so, I, there's supposedly going to be a third yeah i think there's supposed I don't to be know, one they haven't they haven't announced when it's probably going to be for the tapings i'm guessing i no i think it's going to be for that um that pre-show before the uh before takeover no. Yeah. I will not not love not, it. not not like not like for the takeover pre show because they don't do a match on there, but they record the following week's NXT. Right. Oh yeah, that's what I expected. Yeah. That, that's what yeah. I expected. I'm that's, sorry. In my head I... in my head I thought you were saying SummerSlam uh uh pre show and I'm like, Oh that'd be great. But um no. The sword SummerSlam has twelve matches. Yeah, that's put, usually what that's usually what WrestleMania does. I bet this thing goes to midnight too. Sork. Yes. Tina's pointing out uh, all the talk about Adam Cole signing. Don't forget, we might see Leo Rush. What? Who really? also signed as well. Really? Not aware <laughs> of that. Now I wish I would have booked him while I had the chance. Damn it. Uh, anyways. Jeez. Um, we also get Johnny Gargano against uh, uh, Almas. And the size from Mad Mike lets you know where he is with that. Um, so. <laughs> I was... Almost excited for that match. Mm-hmm. Almost. Mm-hmm. We got we, 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 Johnny's in there. Johnny, dude, if you if, if Johnny can pull a good match out of anybody. How long is Chop out for? Uh, for too it's, long. Too long. 
I'm not saying it's not going to be a good match. It's just, what the fuck is the point of Andrade Cien Almas? What the uh, fuck is the point? There, also, I mean, remember, NXT is kind of like a giant workshop of characters. And they're figuring it out, too, if you're confused. Yeah, but TakeOver should be a thesis. Mm, that's TakeOver true. should be a thesis statement. It should not be a workshop. Tina also uh, points out that this TakeOver will be a little different because Morrow is on play-by-play as well. That will, that's true. That will improve it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll that's definitely bump it up a little bit. Hopefully, of course, it, it will not help me because I will be there live. No, no. <laughs> just put the headphones on. Bring out the network, sir. Uh, Actually, you know what? The Wi-Fi in Barclays is good enough. You can actually do that. <laughs> That's good. good. I'm not joking. Like last time I was there for Takeover, we watched the pre-show. Hot tip. Hot <laughs> yes. tip. Hot take. Um, Hot take. I the think Bar- the, wi- the Barclays Wi-Fi is very good. I think and I said this. I think I said this before the show, but um, this Takeover. So there's this horrible habit that happens where uh, IWC here locally has Cage Fury on the same night. The last, the all three Takeovers, right? And and I remember last year I'm being I, I remember looking at that show and looking at to- Takeover and and the show did I think modestly well as far as attendance and I was like well you're you're going after the same audience and Takeover is going to win right this year of course and of course scheduling they don't have much control over the building um, the dates they get and I'm looking at Takeover and I'm looking at Cage Fury. And I'm more interested in Cage Fury than I am Takeover. I'm completely okay watching that in the morning after we we get done with that shoot. Um, you know, uh, not that there's four cage matches, but they're, they're good matches with decent builds and everything. And I feel like we have less so on NXT right now. So that's where I'm at. Mike, the person going there. Yeah, I, I picked the wrong show to go to. <laughs> <laughs> like you should have flipped it for no, SummerSlam. I, uh, How, however, however, I will give very interesting perspective this time around because I am going with uh, my friend and her young son who just started getting into wrestling this past year. And this is his first ever live wrestling event. Oh, so that could greatly increase my enjoyment of this pay-per-view. How, how was the kid? He's twelve. He's twelve. Okay, we well, we went with Ma- uh, I went with Mason for his first ever Raw, and that was he a trip. lost it. Those he photos lost oh, yeah. his Crazy. mind. Like when Finn came out, things like that. When the Hardys came out, like watching yeah, a, they- watching a little kid like like mark out at the Hardys these days, you know, yeah. is pretty pretty fun to watch. And hell, I yeah. saw his first indie show too. So. Yeah, I don't know if he watches NXT. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, like I'll I'll give some live updates next week Man. about how that went, but I'm really excited for it. That'll be good. That'll be good. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. So, I'm in general. You guys excited for uh for NXT this year? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's wrestling. Yeah. It's wrestling. Let's see how yeah. it goes. I'll watch it. Got enough interesting it's, people. It's interesting going things to be gonna different. Yeah. It is. It so. is. But I say there's the Adam Cole factor. How does he play in? You, he's almost guaranteed that he's going to be popping up on this thing, so yeah, you know, has it's, to be. It's probably the most wild card. Do so we? It's a wild card do we randomly? What's going to happen? I don't, I don't really know. Do we get something surprising? Like maybe his girlfriend's going along with him. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know who, Sorg, who, Sorg, who, who is that. Rumors. I don't know who that is. Oh, oh, Britt Baker, friend of the show, Britt Baker. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Are they? Oh, okay. So you related. heard it here first. <laughs> Britt Baker is going to be <laughs> so, a takeover. So basically, Sorg, you're predicting no sleep till Britsburg. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, I, I, it could be. Uh, they they've been doing everything together, even winning yeah. tag titles in Wrestle Circus. So, and <laughs> so uh, you know, and I. You know, you know, she's. Uh, we, we've. I think we've seen footage of her at the performance center. We know. Sorg knows. We've. You know, I don't you know, know also, anything. No. No. He, he tries to say Sorg. we, but he means me, him. I know nothing. Sorg, do you know who I else? Shoot, know nothing. Heard? Sorg Snow over here. I am speculating. Doesn't know anything. Wildly speculating. Wildly speculating. Wait, did you say wildly or wildly? Sorg, do you know who else? Wildling speculating. Wildling <laughs> speculating. For all I know, Jack Pollock could be there at, at, at NXT. Sorg Snow. Here on, on, on Saturday. 
He, he had, somehow he'll fly a private jet from his war games match and make the make this show. Do you know who else has been at the performance here recently? That I mean, nobody's ready for Oscar, but this person might be ready for Oscar. That's Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I don't think she's ready for Oscar. I. I'm just saying she could come out and they could tease something at this thing ju- because I'd love it. I mean if you, you wanna, could, if you don't want to if you, you don't want to call it. up Oscar yet if you don't want to call up Oscar yet Oscar versus Ronda Rousey mm. uh sorry me the fuck up that, yeah I'll that's take some that subscriptions that that's a main that's a main raw that's like a raw thing they're not gonna pull her in for NXT uh, but no way. Would, she's too much. Of a, she's would, too much of a draw. Against I wouldn't raw. put her by him. What's that? Who would she go up against on Raw or SmackDown? Like, they, they'd figure no something out. She, she could go no, up. no, 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 no. You, that's where you throw Nia Jax in the Big Show role on this. Uh, oh no, Nia Jax is way too sloppy at work with uh, Who, who yeah, would be green as hell? Yeah. Well, how did how did uh, Big Show go against Akabona? That's completely different. <laughs> that's completely different. That's that's. <laughs> is like, it? Yeah. But I'm just I saying. Gonna, no, 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 no. I'm I just thought you were going to say Mayweather. I'm like, even that's completely different. That's the way they think, is what I'm saying. Well, if you were Ronda Rousey, from a character standpoint, which champion, which woman's champion would you want to fight? I'd probably go after the one that has a 500 day title streak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's NXT. And I go mm-hmm. after the one that could True. legitimately kick my head off. I mean, mm-hmm. that's how you sell a takeover. Yep, that'll sell subscriptions. Yep, and that's a, that's a subscription only show. Yep. So I mean, you you could literally make it a must see network exclusive. I want to roll this back a moment and just kind of remind people because it came up today because there's there's the big fight happening, um, the big crossover between Mayweather and and, and McGregor, right? Yeah. And yes. um, apparently, if you want, do you know how much that show is? Oh, I, yeah. I don't even it's like a hundred dollars, isn't be it? Ridiculous. It's a hundred dollars for a boxing match. And yeah. boxing matches in quotes, in very loose quotes. That's they're not gonna that's not gonna till, be a boxing match. And that's no. to watch it on TV. They're not even gonna fight. The till streams like were the same price. Eleven yeah. or midnight. Yeah. Like that fight's not gonna be early. Yeah. Gonna I, be I wouldn't like spend a hundred dollars to watch that in person. Mm. Here, here's a pro. <laughs> Here's a pro tip. Go to Buffalo to Wild Wings, get a $30 play of wings. You can watch the same fight. And you have wings. So yes. There's that, too. I'll just find a way to watch it. <laughs> we do not advocate the piracy of pro wrestling shows here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm talking boxing. I'm okay but with boxing, doing it for boxing. Fuck boxing. Boxing's dead. <laughs> no. It's yes. a dead sport. Yes, and we're, yes, absolutely. Boxing died with Tyson. Tyson's alive. Oh, more more or less. Uh, uh, when Tyson but... left, boxing died. That's what he meant. Mean yeah. Boxing, <laughs> yeah. boxing died, boxing died when Holyfield's ear fell to the ground. Mm. That's when boxing died. They heavyweight it, boxing they died. That's when heavyweight boxing died. Mm-hmm. I mean, the little guys still still go for it. but Do they? Yeah, it's still a big thing with like... Really? In Mexico and stuff. They still box. Very, okay. very, uh, hmm. it's alive and well in Mexico. That's good. It, it was all heavyweight boxing in in the states, like you know Ali, and right? And you're not Tyson gonna, and Holyfield, and and you're not going to have as many heavyweights in Mexico. Right? No, they're all they're all Walter weights and yeah. little weights and tiny weights and whatever other weight class division they have. They have like eighty <laughs> different tiny, hashtag tiny weights. They have eighty different weight divisions. Lucha weights. It's just like uh, what's what's his name? Weights, I believe. Uh, what's what's the other guy's name who fought Mayweather a while back? Pacquiao. 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 It's just like pa- Pacquiao's a small dude. All, like all those dudes that are his size in Mexico, they all box. Hmm. If you don't lucha libre wrestle, you box. <laughs> it's one or the other. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. But I can't believe that show is a hundred bucks. Yep. Get out yep, of here. That, that's yeah. how they that's how they sell the tickets. Is Chachi yeah. getting that? Ch- that is the rumor. That is the rumor. That's crazy. So, there's that's there's crazy. that. Because my girlfriend wants to get it. 
Yeah. Oh, well, oh, maybe fuck. maybe we should talk after the show. Damn. <laughs> start a start a what are they the a start start a go fund me. Go, go fund me so they can watch the thing. How many people want to chip in on this? Uh, Let's just go to some bar. Just tell go them to you'll stream it, you'll stream it Facebook Live. Mm-hmm. Go Facebook Live it for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, now that we've just depreciated the value of boxing on this show. No, we don't. Um, <laughs> No, 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 guys. What did you learn from things that are not boxing this week? Oh God, <laughs> you! Uh, I, I love when you're just God. like, I, like I didn't know this was coming. Uh, every week <laughs> you catch me with it. Every week. Chad, I've been here for how many years, and it still surprises them. I wasn't it's ready still, for that I just, one. I learned so much. That wasn't in the show notes, Sorg. And to narrow it down, show notes. <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> show notes. <laughs> This isn't scripted. No, no, not, <laughs> not this one. Wouldn't be this messy. Uh-oh. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Missy's pursing her lips. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I learned that SummerSlam is now a six day event. <laughs> Wait, six days? <laughs> six day event. It started on Monday. Yeah, we, we got started like on an Monday, hour and a half Summer- of SummerSlam on Monday night. So, SummerSlam is like the new Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday. <laughs> Died on a Tuesday. Oh, it is. <laughs> wow, that is strangely accurate. SummerSlam Monday. <laughs> oh. SummerSlam Grundy. Hashtag SummerSlam Grundy. What about you, Chad the Chad? Oh, I, I don't really know if I learned too much. Well, I guess I'll go. I'll go back to to, to the, my earlier comment about Samoa Joe. I learned that I. I I really like Samoa Joe in a main title picture with, with the the heavy hitters. Mm-hmm. It works for me. I can watch it. Uh, I learned I learned that I really like that. I wasn't sure I liked it, but then having seeing him with Heyman and all those guys in there, and he just just looks at home and I don't know. I like it. I wouldn't mind seeing more of it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Larry, um, if Larry's not ready, I've got a couple. Yeah. Okay, okay, Missy. For, for starters, I learned that uh, WWE censors really can't do much about the fans flipping people off on camera no. behind where the camera is pointing. New, no. a little bit of cutaway, a little bit of readjustment. And I also learned that they apparently do cash in Money in the Bank on a random Tuesday night. Ah, mm-hmm. uh. and that gave Larry some. I learned that Kevin Owens thinks that he wrestles on Thursday Night SmackDown. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Um, learned. I learned that one of the greatest things I saw this weekend in so much wrestling um, was when there was a boot camp ma- match with our friend um, David Lawless against, uh, I forget what he goes by, but it, his nickname is the uh, Bullet Catcher. And he comes out to he comes out to the, uh, a rock version of the 18 theme as a beret and says yes sir a lot, um, and I think he's gotten hit in the head a few times. But they had a boot camp match. They fought their way out to the concession stand at a, at a movie theater that's been turned to a wrestling venue, and for Rise Wrestling. And he pulls out a bag, and I'm like, oh no, are we doing tax? It was a bag of army men. Mm. He poured them on the table. Stuff happened, and oh, our friend, bastard. our poor friend right. David Lawless, went through the table, and it looks like he got jacked in the head by part of the table. I too. saw the clip. Yeah, yeah it, was very it looked good. pretty vicious. <laughs> so, uh, army men are no jokes. I know they are not. They are not. Uh, from the chat, Wheels learned that Bobby is real. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Ray Mysterio is a cool guy to be around, and Chris Kirkpatrick. Of InSync is from PA. That's right. He was at the con as well. Yes. He had Mick Foley and Rey Mysterio at the con this past weekend. Yes. Amazing. And the entertaining <laughs> part about that is that the announcer guy from the con mm-hmm. kept trying to sound like a ring announcer mm. whenever he would announce the, uh, you know, people so and so from you know number whatever to whatever <laughs> ticket, please line up for your your photo op with Rey Mysterio. Hmm. It was the weirdest thing ever. I miss Mick Foley was at Still City Club? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I was not God aware of that. damn it. Man, I really messed up this weekend. <laughs> There's a lot happening in this time. I really messed you missed, up. You missed I, I had that. I had. I told you I have the the old Hall of Fame figure set, hardcore figure set. Mm-hmm. It's a three pack of Terry Funk, Sabu, and Mick Foley. Oh wow! And I was like, well, and both of them were there here. This and both weekend. of them, I could have got both their signatures on that bad boy in one weekend. Boy, did I mess up! Man, oh. Um, from sick, from, sick to my stomach. From the chat, Bobby learned that balloons are not gluten free, and the sports ent- entertainers go to local medical facilities for acidic, vis- viscous, viscous liquids of some <laughs> sort transfusions. With weird charts in the back. With weird charts in the background. Uh, Brandon learned that they need uh, stronger security guards. Uh, almost every time they come out, they get knocked out. Well, that's kind of how it goes in wrestling. Oh, I love the um, blonde guy that went over the top rope. Somebody oh. somebody tweeted, blonde guy that went over the top rope? You're not getting hired. Uh, <laughs> Super bump. <laughs> Super bump. Uh, oh, yes. I, on, I also learned that uh, um, Ric Flair needs some... Uh, Need some, right. need some prayers and, and whatnot. Hearts and prayers from the Mayhem Nation going out to Ric Flair. Um, last I heard, he was going in for a pretty serious surgery. There was a medically induced coma. There, there was an update. There's he an update? came through the surgery. Okay. Everything's fine with the surgery. Good. But he's still not out of the woods. No. And that was earlier today that I saw that report. So, uh, uh, shout outs to, to that is here's hoping, you know, everything works out for, uh, Ric Flair. Um, he's just, he's just down for a long 10 count. He'll get up. He'll get up. He'll get up at nine. <laughs> there is no way that Ric Flair sells this surgery. So here's to him and hoping yeah. that he, um, Diamonds. gets up for many more Ric Flair bumps right? to come. Diamonds are forever. Mm-hmm. So is Ric Flair. Absolutely. Guys, thank you for joining us here on this weekly celebration of pro wrestling every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Stay tuned. Of course, we have plenty of interviews in the next two weeks. Uh, we had the rescheduled interview this Friday with Magnum CK. And I believe next Wednesday is going to be uh, Jack Pollock. Uh, double check my math on uh, that. Jack, in- Jack who? Jack Pollock. 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 You said Pollock. Pollock. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. You did. <laughs> Well, the way we were treated earlier, I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and sign with Missy on this one. <laughs> Sorry, Sork. And other things going on. Next week, we're going to have a Stormtrooper. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have a Stormtrooper next week. Uh, you Greg. just read that like it was the weather. <laughs> <laughs> coming up on a five-day forecast, uh, Wednesday, a sprinkle of Stormtroopers. And <laughs> I don't know if he's going to come dressed as a Stormtrooper, but Greg from the 501st uh, uh, group is going to be uh, joining us here on the show. Looking forward to that. And I know you guys ran into him at the con this weekend as well. A couple so, of different times, yeah. A couple of different times. So yeah. so, uh, so that's going to be a blast. If he doesn't bring anything, we do have a Darth Vader, Vader mask, so he feels at home. So uh, it says Goldberg. <laughs> Honestly, there was one of those at the table behind Katie and I all weekend. And we kept hearing it go off randomly. And it just made us laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, everybody. Chad the Chad. Yes. I appreciate you. Is on Twitter. I appreciate Stay you. Stay tuned for the Chad and Larry show from the couch. <laughs> what a show. What a show. There you go. Larry's here. Fun evening. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Man, Thank you Mike, for back. in Poughkeepsie, New York. You'll be joining us for the midweek Sorg. war. Sorg, I'm excited because you know what we have right after SummerSlam? Hmm. The May Young Classic. Bracketology, yes. baby! Bracketology, motherfuckers! Oh, geez. Oh, boy. We're going to do it again. Oh, yes. We're going to do it again. There it is. Lots of brackets. Well, they're all gonna... of the brackets. All of the brackets. Oh, oh. by the way, who won uh, Wrestle... the wrestling WrestleMania one? What? He did a bracketology. I, 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 I said this. I missed it. Oh, I think it was uh, WrestleMania 19. 19. They eventually won. Yeah, 19. Oh. <laughs> That's not a good one. Really? Well, maybe you should have voted more. I voted for 20. You know what happens when you don't vote? <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear <laughs> Holocaust. <laughs> WrestleMania 19 just makes all the rules. But anyways, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.